I wonder what we could be playing right now. It's by Nintendo and Namco. What? Are we doing it? Yes. We're finally really doing it? Yes. After all these years. After all the years. The years we're finally reviewing. We're finally let's, let's play my own Sonic at the Olympic Games. Finally. No. Oh, wait, wait. No. It's, it's Mario Kart Arcade GP. At the Olympic Games. Oh, sweet Jesus. Mario Kart Arcade GP at the Olympic Games. Well, yeah. So, recently, Quad Force came out for the Wii. And it is awesome. And now we can play Triforce games like this on the Wii. And and now I'm gonna say words. And I'm gonna pay his pla 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 <laughs> You're gonna play his Plankton from SpongeBob, and you're gonna like it. <laughs> I'm going to play as Pac-Man because it's awesome. <laughs> Pac-Man. That's it. Somebody hack Plankton from SpongeBob into this game so that Liam has to play as Plankton from SpongeBob in this game. Someone do it. Oh, Lord. So, yeah, getting right into the aim. It's quite different from any Mario Kart you would have played before. Yeah! Like, this one's actually good. You haven't played a good Mario Kart game since... Well, the DS ones were good, but... Mario Kart Wii! This is a butt buck. And this one, unlike Arcade GP2... Has the have... decency to call first! This one doesn't have that really annoying announcer. Or, wait, no, it's, it's me. They call you late, they call you after, but they take you to dinner first. Okay. What? Sorry, I've never been on a date. What did that have to do with announcers? I don't know. What I'd like to know is what it had to do with Mario Kart. You're an announcer! You're a Mario Kart. <laughs> well, you... You! You! What? Oh, and forgive us if our commentary becomes really bad and off topic. This is a racing game, and the only thing that can be done to, pull, to let's play a racing game is to bullshit your way through it until you're done. Running, racing, ripping rubber bands. Wah, 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 I. They did not see that until I know they're finding out what the lyrics are. <laughs> I know there's a lot of R sounds in it for some reason, but I can't for the life of me understand why. My wheels are square. Nobody will understand that joke, because no one watches the obscure. They don't? I don't know if they do. Honestly, I don't know if any, what, why anybody does it. I don't know if anybody does anything. Fuck! Like, do people even know what this game is? Because I don't know if people know what this game is. Some people actually don't. Well, those people should totally play this game while watching The Obscure. I love how it tells you in the upper uh, right-hand corner who who hit you with the item that you were just hit by? I like that. I like that a lot. So, what if butt sex? What about it? The fact that it's awesome? Yeah, why not? <laughs> that way is with all the gravy. I'm in then we do things. I'm in first. Oh hey, you won. Good for you. Yeah. Here, have a cookie. Okay. I'm going to insert a coin! No, you're gonna insert your cookie into the coin slot. Because that's what the cookie is for. But it's a because Wii. The, the, the arcade machine you're not playing on right now, you're not actually playing on right now, is hungry and wants a cookie. So you give it a cookie and it will let you play the game, even though you don't need to insert cookies into the machine to play the game. Because you're not playing on a machine, you're playing on 
on an, on the machine, but you're not playing on an arcade machine. No, I'm not. Yeah, and that that's that's all that matters. Okay. Maybe His Pac Ray. Maybe Pac-Man wants a cookie. Well, well, too bad you already gave it to me. I did. Well, yeah, just pull the Wii out of the disc tray that you thought was a coin slot. Or maybe you thought something else was a coin slot. You probably would be that. I thought your ass was a coin slot. Yeah, that's what I was implying. But okay. <laughs> so you're only a cheap, cheap cover and spikes. Is that actually in any Mario game? Mm, no. Well, actually, actually, it might be in Super Mario World. Or right. Super Mar or Mario World or 64. Can any of our viewers figure that out for us, because I don't want to do it. That's not exactly a huge deal, though, considering that the blue shell doesn't exist in Mario games. Well, yeah, at least it just doesn't exist in the, in the form portrayed in Mario Kart. Not until New Super Mario Brothers, and the, and the blue shell existed long before New Super Mario Brothers. I'm fairly certain there's a blue turtle, there's a blue Koopa in Mario World. Oh, um, yeah. Well, that's a blue... Why is that guy holding the same thing? Why not? Doggy Dog, you copycat! Let go of the thing that Pac-Man is doing! Only Pac-Man gets to have sex with that spiky cheap cheek! Even though he's holding it in his hand. That's how he has thing. sex. That's another thing I like about this game. You don't actually dangle the- you don't drag the items behind your- in front of your car. You actually fold them. I mean, seriously, look, look at Pac-Man. How else would he have sex? Where, where on that body is the gentleman gonna go? Or the gentleman's gonna go? You could ask the same thing about Kirby. Why Kirby are we even talking about sex. this? Kirby doesn't have sex. Kirby, Kirby, cell divides. And we're talking about this. Why? Why not? He has sex with his nose. Look at the nose. Well, why does Miss Pat Man have a nose? Because she's really a man. We're gonna change the subject, and I'm gonna scold you, Mister. What? I'm gonna scold you in the back after. What? Hey. Anyway, um, so, Thunderclouds, how about that airline food? Come on, that wasn't a bad joke. How about we talk about things I'm not going to get angry at you for, because that will be boring if I don't want to talk to you. Okay, so come on. Hey, Doggy Kong, he's in this game. How about that? Yeah. Pac-Man just said, fuck you, Doggy Kong. I want to be the guy. What? Gets all the arcade money. I've been meaning to kick your ass in seven beats. Wow, I just got hit three times. Four times. Yeah. Everyone hates you in the Mario universe. You're Pac-Man. Oh, you were yeah. like... Pac-Man was like Mario's first rival. Ever. It's like... It's like the other Pac- It's like the other arcade guy. Well then why did Miss Pac-Man hit me? Because... You... Because... You never talk anymore. What? Because Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man never talk about their feelings. And they can't just see a marriage counselor, no, they have to throw dangerous weapons at each other. Well, she missed me that time. Because her aim's not perfect. She's not a god like you are, Pac-Man. She didn't miss me that time. Actually, wait, if I remember correctly, this Pac-Man was actually a better game than regular Pac-Man. Or at least more popular. I don't know the differences. 
Fuck. Ah, Thundercloud! So I'm noticing that none of the items you've been hit with have actually been making the game suck more. Like they've been slowing you down and pushing you out of the way, but they have like spinning the car and stopping it being annoying. Most likely because some of the items are designed to have a feedback effect with an arcade wheel. Okay, but see the thing I'm saying is this is the way items should work in a kart racer. They don't actually make the car spin out and lose velocity and not be fun anymore. Touche. They just affect gameplay. Touche. I, I like that. More coins. Cookie coins. The game wants regular coins now. Ah, oh, damn. But we don't have any. I just gave it one. Oh. Alright, now we see another, uh, another new thing with Mario Kart Arcade GP. The night, the night and weather cycle. Woohoo! Weather cycle! Hedgehogs on motorcycles. Card games on motorcycles! Josie. UK. Fuck. <laughs> I have watched so what did you what the hell is that thing? What the hell is that thing? When it hits you, it makes an awful loud noise. But what is it? I don't know, it's a sentient speaker. But what is it? When it hits you, it makes a really loud noise. Stop as repeating as yourself! I, and what is it? It makes a really loud noise, but as far as I know, it doesn't actually affect driving. But what is it? I just told you, goddammit! No, you told see me right here, you can hear it now! You told this okay, I see what it does. I I see what it, what it looks like, and you told me where it came from. I didn't tell you where it came from, I told you okay. what it does. You, you, you told me what it, it is, but what is it? Where did it come from? Why? What does it have to do with Mario or Pac-Man? It doesn't. Just like this rain cloud has nothing to do with either. Well, the rain, well, the clouds are at least far. Look, look at it. It's obviously wow. the Mario universe. The rain cloud I had on me was replaced by a thunder cloud. See, the clouds, they're obviously from the Mario universe because they're clouds in the Mario universe and it's the same sign and shape and smiley face. What is this thing? Where did it come from? Why? What's it doing this for? It's like. Why? How? What? The flood is a power up in GP2. I like that. The flood is flood is a thing that has things to do with things. It, it, it has a backstory. Where did this speaker thing come from? That's it. Nintendo, Namco, whoever the fuck owns the rights to that thing, I demand. Give it its own it's game. Its own game. Do it! It must have its own game. Yes! And you can call it that weird speaker thing from Mario Kart Arcade GP2. This is okay, GP1. Never mind! <laughs> Scrap, scrap the whole concept. Scrap the whole concept, because the title I came up with does not work. Almost Just, as good as Infinimart. No, game over. Just black screen. Infinimart? Yeah! Do the viewers know about that? No. Should I tell them? Sure. Okay, right, so fish meal. You, 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 tell the, you tell the viewers about Infinimart while I push around a giant ass watermelon. Yay! So anyway, fish meal is gonna make this game where you, that takes place in an infinitely generating Walmart, and you search and you look for people, and that's the whole point of the game. There are gonna be these bosses, make no sense, and I came up with one of them. The, 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 the central villain is gonna be one. It's gonna be Ronald McReagan. It's gonna be Ronald McReagan. He's gonna be the the mascot of what did we agree the burger place was gonna be called? Apparently, I'm seeing credits. 
I guess I should have written it down, yeah. Um, so he's gonna be the, the burger guy, and he's gonna give you a free cheese, and he's gonna give you a complimentary cheeseburger when you start the game. Hello, welcome to Invinimar. I am Ronald McRiggit. Here's a complimentary cheeseburger. Buy more. And and that's gonna be the the first weapon you buy in the game, and you're gonna beat people up with cheeseburger. And instead of a health bar, it's gonna be an obesity meter. And when you eat, if you eat the cheeseburger, you're gonna get fat. And if you eat vegetables, you're gonna get healthy. And and when you're fat, you're stronger, but also slower and take more damage. So wait, I guess there would be a health meter. Okay, so now we're moving on to DK Cup. What does that have to do with cheeseburgers? I don't know, but since there's a time limit, I can't stick around in the menu while you're finishing, finishing your sentence. <laughs> I want a cheeseburger. In your ass. No, in my mouth. <laughs> I want different things in my ass. But I won't ask the viewers to buy me those things. Because that would be weird. I will ask the viewers to buy me a cheeseburger. For your ass. No, we've established this. I'm not going to ask the viewers to buy me sex toys. That would be weird. Commentary just grinds to a halt. <laughs> anyway, um, Fuck. Yeah, you're dying. Ah, oh, all this talk of cheeseburgers and sex toys is making me hungry. I thought you were going to say something completely different. All these what? All this talk of cheeseburger and sex toys is making me okay. That stopped my car. Hamsters. You, you saw that, right? No, I didn't. I wasn't paying attention. I got Sorry. hit. Thank I got you. I got hit by the tornado. Oh yeah. Yeah, that stopped my car. <laughs> Fuck you, Blinky! So why are Pinky, Winky, and Dot in this game? Pinky, Pinky, and Fly, you mean? I forgot the last one the name was. <laughs> I just, I just did the Maniacs thing there. But yeah, that tornado, that will stop your car for a really long time. Alright! I don't like that. Uh, I, I hate it when items in a racing game will actually stop the car dead. I prefer it when it just slows the car down or shakes or pushes it somewhere. Fuck! Uh, so! Fuck! Uh, 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 about the cheeseburger, yours? Uh. My. My uh, Tumblr has uh, donate cheeseburgers button, and if you click on it and put 100 into it, then I got 100 cheeseburgers. Lies. Yeah, I'm lying. I want 100 dollars. I want to buy stuff. Man, it's food. So yeah, I want to buy stuff and move. So buy me cheeseburgers, okay? Okay, yours. Can you do that? You heard her. Make it happen. Yeah. Inserting coin. And I'll insert it very hard. Now I went and depressed myself because that reminded me that I am looking for someone to move into. So, yay, that's... You know what you need to do? You need to insert a coin... Very hard. By the way, I just saw a blue shell. <laughs> Knowing this game, it probably won't do the same thing, though. Okay, good. We'll find out soon enough, though. So, well, I should take a coin and put it in my ass. Alright. Fuck you, Peach! You stole my item. Yeah, I do that. I heard a lot of screaming. I'm not sure I want to know what happened back there. Oh, simple. Um, I exploded and everyone was sad about that. 
Oh, and sorry, it's a green shell. Oh, it's for making me make a weird rattling noise. For nothing. I'm sure the viewers appreciate ah! that. You saw that! You, you saw it! That. What the fuck? That too. That wasn't the tornado! I don't know what that was! You deserved it because you made me scream like a velociraptor. Huh? I. I actually said velociraptor there instead of velociraptor. <laughs> so I, I, I guess noticed. I was screaming like a velociraptor. <laughs> Seriously though, what the fuck hit me there? Oh, that's a blue shell! <laughs> this is a blue shell. All right, I need to work Actually, on my Velociraptor place. Actually, this shell is purple. Let's see what it does. Oh dear God! It does the same thing. No, it just did the thing that a bob on normally does. Only bigger. I'm confused by that. Why didn't they just put a bob on in the game? Okay, the game has problems. Instead it of taking have, a pipe, it doesn't have I mean, problems. It just has weird logic. Taking a, taking a game, taking items in the established Mario canon and not using them, instead making up stuff that does the exact same thing is stupid. Like I don't Mario's know. been around for like thirty years, and and they're like a ton of shit in the universe now. And so if they want to have something explode, just use the bomb! Don't, don't add another Koopa shell to the mix. I don't particularly mind, it makes the game unique. Yeah, it makes the game unique, but... Come on! Eh. Come up with a... Come up with an item we don't already have a thing for. I guess that makes sense. It's like, okay, you have a purple shell. What should we make it do? We should make because we all the other shells. We, we throw this one, we throw this one and it homes in on things, we throw this one and it homes in on different things. Alright, so, so this one. what about this one? Well we throw it and it explodes like a bomb? I'm gonna stop you right there. We have bombs right. No! I wanna do this! Alright, okay. so two new items in this course, the thunder stick and the boo. Or not the boo, the, the thunder stick and the shield. And as you can see, it's raining. It's gonna rain! 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 Let's see what the thunder stick does. Shoki! The fuck? So I, I have I to make physical contact with the vehicles for the item to work. It's a lightsaber. I guess. Wait, no, it's a loyalty free blade. Wait, what did, what did Omega call it? It's, an, it's a royalty free light sword. Something like that. Wait, no, now reviews Omega can sue us, because they have lawyers too. How about we just call it a thingy? Yeah. Wait, do they have. Lawyers all have to ask Super about that. Yeah. I think that's the first item in Mario Kart history that requires physical contact between two vehicles for it to work. <coughs> Thunderfire. <coughs> no, I mean besides, like a, besides an item that has to be passed between two vehicles. <laughs> Talking like an offensive. <coughs> that doesn't count. Okay, I'm gonna do that again, but just because that helps clear my throat. <laughs> <coughs> I shall. In I have invented this. I shall name it. Coffee. Oh God! I just Absolutely. noticed. A I just noticed there were two ostriches there. Ostriches aren't Pokemon! We can't name a Pokemon Ostrich! But we can name one Eric! And we can name a different one Gibble! Yeah. Here's a Gibble! 
more than Gibble. Yeah. All right, moving on now to the Gibble! last. One. Moving on now. To... Moving on now to the last course of the DK Cup. Give I win. Give on. Black Shell and the Slimy Mushroom are the new items in this one. Hatcher Reschool. What? The, po the Pikachu. The Pikachu ripoff in Generation 4 thing Patch recent. Ah. Uh, and it's fun to say, which is why I said it for no reason. The Generation 5 one is named Emoto, because they ran out of things. Yeah. This level has a slimy mushroom. But all this draining. Yeah. I still think that that should have either been a Babon or something completely unique. Yeah. Like, it, it makes the game feel more unique that it has Babons that that pretend to be shows. Okay. We'll go with that. I do like these shields, though. What the fuck, Metal Mario? No, we could have had a Babon. Riding on a shell. That would have been pretty different. Was that Metal Mario? I think so. Fuck. Yeah, I, I think that if they're gonna have a Koopa shell that worked like the bomb, wouldn't it have just made more sense to have a bomb riding on a Koopa shell, or a Koopa shell decorated like a bomb? Or, oh, oh, there's That's... a metal power-up. Okay, got it. Metal... Pub, pub. There's a metal box power-up, apparently. Okay, then. I didn't know that was in this level. I just noticed Blinky turned metal. Yeah, I noticed that, but I didn't know it was in this level. Well, apparently it is. Wait, you knew it was in this, but you didn't try to... Okay. I didn't. You know, I didn't. We gotta try to get that item. We gotta demonstrate that for us. I didn't know it was in this game or this level. Well, now you do. And knowing is growing. And knowing is half the pooch. She, I, Joe. Yeah. I'm hungry, you guys. I win. I wonder if I'm gonna be eating dinner tonight. Oh, we don't no. enjoy. I asked mother told me what was for dinner last night and I was confused and she said, We're gonna eat hot pockets for dinner. And I'm gonna I fail. Said, and I told her, Oh really? Is is that what she said? Because she's usually she usually wants me to eat food. I'm gonna so, fail at this mission. She said, well, Grandmother told me to make pizza, but I didn't feel like it. You're really getting off topic here. This is a desk lamp that you can't see, and you've never seen, and I'll probably never actually, and will probably never actually be seen, because I specifically use it to, uh, for lighting effect when I take pictures, so I'm probably never actually going to take a picture of the desk lamp itself, and no one will ever see it, ever again, and no one will ever see it now. And you're smashing turtles with a hammer because that's what Mario Bros. Mario did. Batman's finally ripping off Mario Bros. Hooray! I actually did it. Hooray! Pac-Man has finally ripped has finally successfully made a ripoff of Mario Bros. And we will call it Pac-Man rips off Mario Brothers the movie. Apparently. And it will be a racing game, even though it's a movie. I don't know how that'll work. I think we'll just give everybody in the movie theater a, wi a wireless Bluetooth controller, and they will control the actions of the movie, and it will be very confusing for everyone involved. And so, Joss Whedon will look at us and we. Alright, I'm trying to end the part here. 
Oh, sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it for this part. God damn it, you ruined the ending. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for that. <laughs> we'll see you in the next part. <laughs>